Thus are things carried in a handsome manner, and these are the rules that cannot be dispensed with in a genteel place of gallantry. But to come point blank to the conjugal union, to make no love, but for making a marriage contract, and take a romance just by the tail. Nothing can be more mechanical than such a proceeding, and the idea of it alone makes me sick. We must have the acquaintance of all these gentlemen around us if we are to be in the new mind. It is decent in the interpretation of Paris, and in such a manner, you know, that only to keep them company is enough to occasion a report of one's being a critic, though there should be no other reason for it. But for myself, what I particularly consider is that by means of these ingenious visits, one is taught a hundred things which is a necessity of knowing, and which are the quintessence of fine wit. One learns by it every day, the little new correspondences in prose or verse. One knows for certain that such a person has composed the finest piece in the world upon such a subject. Such a lady has been worth such a tune. This author has formed a madrigal upon enjoyment, that others has formed stanzas on infidelity. Mr. X has wrote an ode of six lines yesterday evening to Mrs. Y, to which he sent him an answer this morning at eight o'clock. Such an author has laid such a design. This person is one third of his romance, that other is putting his works into the press. It is this which makes us so esteemed in the company of men, to be the first to have whatever is composed.
easy on me most of the time. Sorry, I gave up. And so it is.
If, so, if no one important dies, then Harry, he's the editor. He decides who will lead and who will make calls, punch the pros, check facts. Sometimes I might be asked to deal with the widows and widowers. They try to persuade us to run obituaries for their husbands and wives. They feel we're summoning their loved ones if we don't. But some of them are... Well, that just isn't enough space. At six, we sit around the computer and look at the next day's page. We make final changes and add a few euphemisms to amuse ourselves. Such as... He was a clubbable fellow! Meaning he was an alcoholic. He valued his privacy! Gay. He enjoyed his privacy! Raging Queen. She was a convivial hostess! A pissed off slut. Exactly. And what would your euphemism be? Mine? I 
was frightened of the dark. When did this start? Oh, it's all right for you. You're not sleeping in her bed. For goodness sake. Grab the spare room pretty sharp. I was here first. Had the sheets been changed? Yes. When? What difference does it make? I don't like sleeping in her bed, that's all. She didn't die in it. She was the last person in it. It's full of bits of skin that belong to her. Stop it for goodness sake. And it makes me feel uncomfortable. What bits of skin? You shed cells. They fall off when you're asleep. I found it only before. Stop it for goodness sake. I thought you might keep it in a locket around my neck. Or maybe you'd like it. It's disgusting. And you can't leave for a couple of five minutes, can you? Even at a time like this. That's a very sick patient. That's a very sick patient. Oh, don't start, Teresa. Oh, she never complains. Because your job's important. I mean, doctors are second to God, whereas Frank and I have a business to run. So obviously, we could drop everything at a moment's notice. It's not my fault. Why do you always do What? Why do you always argue? You don't argue. We bicker. Okay, why do we bicker? Because we don't get on. Yes, we do. Okay, it's your own way. We haven't even got out of bed yet. It's the only way we're going to get through this. Do you often have a drink in the morning? Of course I believe you don't. What do you think I am? Lots of doctors are alcoholics. There's the stress. Someone dies, you drink whiskey. It's a sedative. It's what normal people do at abnormal times. Okay. So let's be nice to each other. What do people usually talk about when their mother has just died? I don't know. Funeral arrangements. We call a coffin. I've got a list somewhere. It should be a set form like those books on wedding etiquette. Some death etiquette. Lesson one. Face to avoid. Include. Guess what? I was distraught. I was a thinking problem. I thought you'd won the lottery or something. Why did you give you being nice, didn't it? Sorry, I forgot. How are you feeling? I was expecting him during an hour ago. I'm not talking about that. I don't know how I feel. Anything I eat is of salt. Everything tastes of it! 